Hey friends, Derek at uh, Tech Connection. I'm back. I'm sorry I haven't filmed in a while, but I was down hard with the flu. It really messed up my schedule for filming, so I just let the boys handle things for the most part. But uh, today we're back on kind of a fun project, and I think I got five minutes to talk to you about it. So it's uh, good to have you with me again, and uh, I'm happy to be talking to you. So what I'm doing today is kind of having a ubiquity day. Let me show you. <clears throat> So these are, these are the Ubiquiti nano stations, and we're setting up a bunch of these. And the purpose of that, let me close this. Let's get up the hill here. This might be of interest to some of you that are doing something similar. So we've got some solar panels, as you can see, up on this carport. And there's carport, carport, carport. And there's more carports down that way. And there's more carports up ahead and so on and so forth. So what we're doing today is we're linking all of these together so that they can have uh, internet connectivity between all of the solar panel uh, data collectors. So every one of these solar systems has got some kind of a device varying eras and ages and what those devices do is they collect the usage that's going on. Let me just get into the closet. So everybody's got a little Game Boy shaped thing here that is collecting data, statistics, things like that. And they need, <clears throat> excuse me, they need an ethernet connection. But as you saw, we're kind of just in a closet in the middle of nowhere. And there's no conduits. There's nothing I can really tap into to bring a network here. So that is where the point-to-point -point nano stations come in. <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing today is connecting these to a larger network that already exists up the road. And what we're going to be using to do that connection is the UISP switch. So this is a simple enough box. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. There we go. So within the box is a switch. The switch provides power. That powers that. All these devices will get their connectivity through that. If these little monitor devices have ethernet. They're gonna get all hooked up to the switch. Switch is going right there. And then we're going to tidy up these cables that are left from an old uh, installation where they tried to use Wi-Fi. So boat's over here. There's boat. Getting one ready right now. We're going to shoot that up the hill there. Get us connected to a network that is actually working that's up the hill. And with that done, once that's in place, uh, we're going to start drilling holes in these walls, and then we're going to mount more APs. And so what there will be is additional antennas on the exterior, and then that will shoot down the hill even further, and we'll hook up more buildings. Leastways, that's the plan. So I'm going to get to work and start doing that, and then I'll film a little bit more, talk about like how it turned out. Okay, thanks. <laughs> So here we are on the remote side. This is where the head end is. This is where the internet connection begins. We've got a MicroTik router because I much prefer the MicroTik over the Ubiquiti. Ubiquity makes really good bridges, but I'm not a fan of their routing system. That's just my personal opinion, of course. You don't have to uh, go along with that. MicroTik for me is a little bit more fun to play with. So there's an injector here, there's an internet connection, and then you can see our uh, AP mounting spot in progress. And here are the boys ready to keep working. So. I'll stop bothering them.
Well, we got everything connected on the bridge. We got uh, 50 dBs, which is just right, right in the sweet spot of where we would like it. So we're gonna start tying up our cables, making everything nice and neat. So I'll walk you over there. All right, friends. Well, this is what the Unify uh, box looks, Unify Ubiquity box looks like when it's fully installed. And I really like the way that it looks. We're keeping it nice and neat over here. We're going to tidy up the cables a little bit. Uh, this closet's getting a little bit uh, wild. So we're going to make some changes to the cabling and then we'll wrap it up for the day. So that'll be it for us. And uh, it's good to be back on my feet uh, working again. I uh, appreciate you hanging with me. Uh, see you again real soon. We've got plenty more coming up. So just hang tight and there'll be more videos. See you in a bit.